<laughs> the dark side, by the way. I don't know if you guys actually heard that. It might have been cutting the audio until right there, which would be perfect, but... Um... But welcome to part 8. I think it's part 8. Pretty sure this is part 8. Sounds about right. Where we're gonna go finally visit a planet. Uh, some stuff does happen here. Yeah, you do leave the academy for good. Now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. Okay, we're good. We seem to have found it. Let's watch this then, chat. Do you know why we have called you here? I look, I get to see my lightsaber. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? It is good you recognize this. It means you will understand why you must leave us. You are exiled. And you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Wouldn't it just fall? Probably did. That's probably the whole point. The, the hilt should be laying in the middle of the floor there, Chad. correct, Gavar. When she was here, I felt it. It was as if she was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. She has lost herself. She is no Jedi. She walked Revan's path, but she was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Yeah. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. She has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let her depart. She will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with her, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let her go because we must. Where she travels, she carries her destination with her. Malachor V should have been her grave. You saw it in her walk, and in the Force. It was as if she was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and she cuts like a blade through it. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserved to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. 
There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. Until then, she must accept her journey. But she may never discover the truth, and she will never know why we cast her out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? I love the fucking a strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is a larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. General Wait longer between voice lines? Okay, I'll try to chat. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I never said you were, but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside. But it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. I can't leave the Ebon Hawk, we're in space, uh, there game. You fucking stupid fucking game there, dude, fucking video game. Alright, chat, Planet One is Dantooine. For a couple reasons, I want to go there and get a crystal. After that, I think I'll just do a vote in Twitch chat. I want to do Dantooine first. It is kind of the easiest one to do first. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, if you want a summary of the story, we're looking for Jedi Masters that are missing. That's basically the entire summary right there of the story right now. 
well, of what we're doing, I guess. That would be the better word of what we're trying to convey. Um. General, need something. I'm just looking at all these options we have later. Security 17. That's a lot of security skill, just for a lightsaber. It was cool that they threw other other uh, possibilities into it, though. What do I want with me? I think we'll do that for now. Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. Salvagers are stripping it of anything valuable. Mostly they're collecting trash the Jedi left behind. The Enclave was bombed during the war, so there's not much left. Those artifacts have tremendous value and could be dangerous in the wrong hands. This is something we should investigate. But since you're a Salvager, I expect you already know all that. Then who are you? The only recent visitors we've had on Dentuin have been salvagers and a slew of mercenaries. Just to see the sights, right? You're just another salvager. Go see Administrator Adari in Kunda if you want to get into the ruins. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the Administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Sure, boy, girl, whatever you are. <laughs> Is this a fucking vendor? What was that twitch? Oh, he's... Wow. That animation, dude, damn. What's in your footlocker? Some money and a battle suit I can sell? Pog. First, was good. Let's go to Kunda. Get some permissions. No need to waste time right now. I wonder if she just teleports here or if she actually walks here. I've never looked at that. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant. And never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could have him anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Imagine thinking you can just walk up to a Jedi and capture them. Yes. Or have you come with quest? Fucking click the wrong fucking character, dude. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Um... This is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. 
You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual. But you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Twas. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong? Our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Uh, totally, dude. We need the skills of a Jedi more than ever. He was helping investigate Asgul and his mercenaries, but he had his own errand to run in the Enclave. Jedi business of some sort. He went into the sub-level, which isn't without its dangers, and he hasn't returned. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit from the I wouldn't know that. Security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? All the characters in this game change their tone of voice depending on what part of the conversation you're in. You'd be having like the most serious conversation in the world and um, two seconds later they're just like anything else I can help you with? We need to go to the Enclave, which is way over here. Some of the animations are pretty good. Oh, this isn't an exit. That's awkward. What? I just got buffed by something. Yatuka, 
Cavanata Calo, Cavana mi donkey crato, Cavanata Calo, Cavana mi donkey crato, Bram Tabani socio. The come just mark me key baranieto so so near the rectum. Okay, why? <laughs> why? Why do I need to know that, Star Wars? Why do I actually need to know that information? Bram Tabani socio, the come just mark me key baranieto so so rick. I want to hold your gland. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I, I don't want the gland because I want to kill them for XP actually. Plan does work though, they won't attack you. They're just kidding wrath, I can walk right through them. The music just straight up overlapped. You die already, bro? Disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. Yeah, we killed a bunch of babies, let's go. <laughs> well, I need to know something in a second here. And that would be how the hell I use force jump in this game. Why wouldn't you- oh wait, I'm under Kraya. Uh, that'd be probably a good idea to, like, let check my Force Virus, probably. It still doesn't list it. Well, that's just not helpful at all, is it? Well, fuck me then, I guess. I'm curious. If I use one handed weapons, would it allow me to force jump? We'll find out in a minute when I find an enemy. Oh, smash the egg, please. No, 
Now, equip my weapon. Mash the egg. Thank you. General needs. No, I want to. I want to look at the uh, crystals. Yeah, purple crystal. Let's go, dude. Uh, sometimes there's eggs in it. Or eggs in it? Um, uh, crystals. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't need it, do you? The more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Quite the contrary. Picture yourself as a sieve and the force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light. Hmm. I think I got all the crystal formations. Seems that way. I think that's everything that's in this cave, too. Maybe. Maybe. Potentially. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go the other way quickly. There's another path I can take. Gotta find a Kinrath to attack, too. If I use a basic attack, will I jump to it? I will not jump to it. That is so weird. I can't change weapons because I'm in a fight. I'm really not sure why I can't, um... If I can speak English. I'm really not sure why I can't, uh, jump. Is the encampment actually there? We have to come back here later for something story related. But is the camp actually here and it's just empty or what? Yeah, it's just empty right now. Huh. That's weird. I never actually just checked. Oh, that's what I wanted. Wait, those are in there. Right. Immunity to wisdom and uh, cool. Give uh, the other ones to Kreia, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Wait, she doesn't change clothes no matter what. That's right, she keeps her clothes. You suit me better, though. Alright, the exit of the cave. This way. Way, I think to the uh, enclave. I'm gonna Google how to use force jump though quickly. Force jump tour. I typed in hump by accident. That's great.
We'll look at it in a minute. Apparently you don't get it if you become a Jedi weapon master though. It's weird. Really weird actually. What's all these mercenaries, dude? What do they want? Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You fight in any wars? I fought in the Jedi Civil War. I guess you don't look like much of a salvager. Sides don't matter much. We're all soldiers. Most of us mercenaries work with the Sith. Not too many Republic soldiers survived the war. True. I thought you were one of those useless salvagers. Or perhaps an uppity settler. I've had about enough of their attitude. So I figured blasting one of them would have done me some good. It's been a while since we've had work. Stay out of our way and we'll stay out of yours. That's the best deal you're gonna get here. I'm an angry person. Why is it still bugged? Why does it do that? I'm just constantly casting the same thing. Stop! <laughs> Stop. I, like triple casted that ability. I hear you. Is there any way I can like select it as an ability? Oh, Bladur, why are you dying, dude? Damn. Can you not right now? Please? Yes. Oh, the visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? A civilized person with manners. Very rare in this part of the galaxy. I am most honored to meet you. If I may, a question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. You flatter me, traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. And you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. Oh, you have to have a lightsaber equipped. I'm a bot. Like, I'm a fucking certified bot. Like, like I have a salvager? name tag and everything. Those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain. Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. Okay. If you're not going to listen to anybody, maybe you can help me out. The only place that has anything is the sublevel. And only a couple of fools have gone there. And they're now dead fools. Now, I'd like to do the decent thing and get their bodies and put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. Sure, dude. Who doesn't like picking up dead bodies? Basically, it's grave rob and I'll give you money. Easy key, easy peasy. Quite a bit of money too, 500 bucks, damn dude. Yeah, 
is over. Oh, oh, I'm attacking the one behind me, but swinging at the one in front. I can't say it makes much sense, but cool. Doesn't Kraya have some dark side shit? Yeah, let's make it scared. Did you just die already? Let me handle this. I hear you. Finally, dude, damn. Bunch of wolves are harder than any Jedi I've ever fought. Like, what do you mean? Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cat hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? I managed to get this sad lot of salvagers to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub-level, and we get swarmed by Lagrex. And even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed <sighs> to grab the salvage is still in there. I don't even know why I bothered. I'm not going to tell you that. If you do rescue him, you'll just have to claim on the salvage. Jedi artifacts are rare enough these days without some newcomer coming in. So stay out of it, and we won't have a problem. Are you kidding? Of course we aren't. He's on his own. I only wish he didn't have the salvage on him. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us and get down to our business. Whoa. Sounds fun. In we go. The hell was my journal entry possibly? Was searching. She told you that two salvagers died in the sub level. She had to get a hold of the body. Uh, she had okay. Yeah, I was reading there. Just by the way, just making sure. <laughs> Even if it doesn't seem like I read everything, I did. Can I attack, please? These things are so ugly, by the way. can poison you too, it's weird. Shit, I'm trying to cast something. Stranger, please take care of them. I can't stand much more of this. If you do manage to clear a path, please come back. What path? Wait, 
Is the way to the door not clear? Am I high, dude? Pretty sure this is pretty clear, dude. I... I can't help but say that this is pretty clear. I actually don't know how you could fuck it up. Is that you? I thought... You must be fierce with a blaster, then. Give me a moment, I sort of jam the door a bit. Just don't leave. Thanks for saying. You're one me. old motherfucker. This <laughs> leg had me for sure. It's all Tapele's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for leg wrecks. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So, salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. No, I, I didn't get anything. Fine. I did grab a couple of things. Now, I hadn't thought of that. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. For a lightsaber, maybe, I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credit... 1,300? Bro! Well, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than 1,300 credits, and you make up. You can buy it from me here or at the salvage. I just I keep skipping it. I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. And now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you. I really do. I'm going to the salvager camp. It'll take some time to get things in order. Come visit if you like, but if you don't like what you bought, it isn't my problem. Emitter and then a green and a red fig. That's actually perfect, actually. Works for me. I think I have a lot of money still, too. After I have a... I just need a lens. Coach, gotcha. Um... I'm dripping out. I need one thing. I need, I'm trying to figure out what I was going to do here. I was going to look for something. I'll just play the game until I remember what I was going to fucking do. Bro, are you kidding me? Fallen. Can we kill it? It's just regenerating. Please, please. Thank you. I found one of the dead bodies. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna remember where the other one is, to be fair. I thought this is where he was. Although there's two of these rooms. There's another room just like this one. The council chamber. Bro. Bro. Walk up the thing. has one HP. It has literally one HP, thank you. I'm gonna walk over that, who cares? It's not strong enough to affect me anyways. What is it? What's going on? How do I go into solo mode again? What is it? Forget. Oh god. Okay, there we go.
bunch of useless lore. Well, not useless, but just that doesn't help me any at all. A motivator booster. I could just activate them all. It's kind of useless, but I could. <laughs> yes. Um. Back to work. Holy Lagrix in this hallway, dude, I tell you. Bad, actually, there's a lot of them. I might have to peel, actually. Oh, no. I'm gonna kite some of these with me. Yeah, she's only got like one on her. So I can kite for a bit. Alright, well, she also went. Well, Cray also went down, so that's great. We'll have to kite for a bit. Keep healing until I run out of meds, which is right now. Wait for them to. I think they should come back normally. Yeah, they'll come back in a minute. My companions, that is. And so will my force energy. As far as they haven't come back yet. They randomly do after a while. Even if there's enemies nearby, they randomly come back and start running around. Well, there's a big party of people over there, and I'm not really interested in fighting them, so... end the episode here soon. I'm gonna try to like not die first, you know, get my companions back. That's basically what this is gonna be here. Operation Save My Damn Companions. I don't plan on ever dying during this Let's Play, so. I mean, there'll be plans to die, I guess, but. Get rid of this guy so he's not DPSing me. Oh, there's actually two 
I thought, that was, I thought this one's gonna be deadly, not normal. No big deal then, at all, actually. And this is the way we need to go, I think. Yeah, I can't go the other way. I do have to go back now. I was gonna keep going around, but... Yeah, I just gotta go all the way back to my companions and try to kite them to fight, uh... Try to fight, uh, get the Lagrix to fight me one-on-one-on-one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one -on -one -on -one, rather than 1v6, because then I'll just get DPS to death eventually. It's actually perfect because they can clearly tell their um Yeah, that when I like ran away they split up a bit, so they probably started taking different areas. So I should be able to work my way through them now. Save them. Should eventually grind these guys down and save my companions. I think we'll end the episode as I save my companions. They were like all deadly too, that's the problem. Well, that was the biggest problem, really. Why? Why? Why would you just run into a fight like that? Alright, me and Kraya together should be able to defeat this guy. Or these two, I should say. Eventually. Kraya's not attacking, which means I'm in her way. Yeah, there we go. Kill the one, Kraya, please help me. I'm quite focused. You're not doing shit. I hate my life right now, chat, so much. I end up with all these. Will an antidote kit heal me at all? Damn. <laughs> I was like, maybe? Alright, what we're gonna do is end the episode here. It's been a while. I'm gonna... Next episode, I'm gonna do it right now on Twitch, but tomorrow, on, or in two days or whatever on YouTube, I'll save my companions and we'll... I'm gonna wait for my force to come back and it's gonna take like five minutes, so I'm gonna wait and that's what I'll do next episode. I'll see you guys for that.